Uh, this past weekend was an unfortunate one for us. We really uh, didn't do what we wanted to do there. We lost the first two games in the Sioux, and uh, it was quite disappointing. Uh, luckily, we salvaged Sunday's game and won 5-0. It was a big win for us, obviously. Pick up two points out of uh, the four we left on the table in the first two games. Uh, Friday night, really wouldn't have it. I don't know what happened. We got in a day early, uh, kind of got harassed. We, we should have been ready, and we lost 3 0. Uh, we didn't have a whole lot of effort, and uh, we wanted to rebound Saturday. We worked a little bit harder, we just seemed out of sync, and uh, we lost 3 2. We scored two quick goals, tie the game 2 2, and they got a lucky one there at the end 3 2. And then Sunday, the boys pulled together and, like I said, salvaged the weekend with a little bit. I uh, got a 5 nothing win, so now the, uh, the big thing is to come and work hard and practice, and we got to make sure those weekends don't happen. we got so many division games coming up. I think the only time we don't play against the division is Wenatchee uh, next month, so obviously every point is, uh, is very, very important in this division to get where we want to go. So uh, looking ahead this week in practice, we got to be much better and be ready to go. This week on the Tomahawks Hot Seat, from Orleans, Massachusetts, newly appointed assistant captain and one of the hardest working players on our team, defenseman number 18, Dakota Menslage. First question, is it cold enough outside for you? Oh yeah, it's pretty cold. Huh? <laughs> Waking up this morning, grabbing that handle to go out the door, it's frozen solid, lots of snow on it, so it's kind of different. Who is your NHL role model? Definitely have to go with Chara, one of the Bruins back home. Big guy, good defenseman, and works hard. How many push-ups can you do? Oh, you know, I'm pretty strong, so after 100, I just stop counting. You put bash on your back after 100? Oh, yeah. And he gets pretty bored, too, and he starts picking at me, so I gotta <laughs> throw him off. Name an animal that embodies your style of play. Definitely the tiger. Fierce, tough as nails. Good answer. What's your favorite breakfast? Uh, gotta wake up, have eggs, uh, toast, something healthy. Put some vegetables in there. Leno, Letterman, or Kona? I don't even know who those guys are. <laughs> What's that? I don't even know who those guys are. Yeah, they are kind of getting old. Oh, yeah. I think Leno's <laughs> leaving for my favorite, Jimmy Fallon. What's the one item you cannot live without? <sighs> Definitely my protein or pre-workout. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do to get pumped up to play? Uh, I'll listen to music, come early before the rink, and uh, play pass with my big boy, G. <laughs> he is a big boy. What kind of car do you drive? Uh, unfortunately, right now, I have a Ford Edge, but... Once I get my money, I'm getting a truck jacked up, baby. <laughs> What's the last movie you saw in the theaters? The Conjuring. Scary movie. I haven't been there in a while. <laughs> What's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? Wake up, turn some country music on, and make some breakfast. Who is the best NHL enforcer of all time? <laughs> oh, we got Lou Cheats or Marshawn. Lou Either one Cheech, of those two. Enforcers. <laughs> nice. Boston, guys. Oh, yeah. Boston. What do you do to put on your pizzas? Pizza, uh, sausage, meat lover, so anything like that. More protein. Yeah, more protein, exactly. <laughs> if you could go anywhere you want for vacation, where would you go? I mean, the cave's pretty nice, but I've never been to Hawaii, so I guess I'll go there. I've never been there. Maybe we take a vacation together. Oh, uh, maybe. Yeah, there you go. Good looking Who? ladies there, too. Huh? <laughs> I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> Who is your celebrity crush? Uh, I'd say Swift. Ooh, nice. 100%. You put her on in the morning when you make your breakfast? Oh, you? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> put her on the music. Put her on the CD. You put her on the oh, radio yeah. when you get up? Okay. What's the biggest difference between Massachusetts and Pennsylvania? Oh, we got the beach. I mean, I can spit on the water from where I am, so that's pretty nice. But it's not too much woods back home, so it's pretty nice here in Pennsylvania, too. A little change of pace. Yeah. Your favorite historical figure is? <sighs> Let's say, ah, uh, I'll go with Jesus. Guy I pray to every night, so. There you go. Who is going to win the Super Bowl this year? <laughs> is that even a question? That's a loaded question. Oh, uh, definitely the Patriots, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one. It's a big one. What is the worst way you've ever heard your name pronounced? <sighs> Jeez, I don't know. Every single game is something different. Uh, we got a men's locker, <laughs> men holler, or I don't know. It's, it's pretty crazy what they say. So There you have it. Dakota, how do you say it? Menslage. Dakota Menslage. Hey coach, you need to see us? It's about practice today, coach. Is this about bobblehead night, Friday, January the 24th? Do you want us to tell the fans that the first 1,500 people here get free bobbleheads? 
They're gonna go pretty quick. Yeah, you look great in it. Coach, you look a lot bigger in person. I was gonna say, your hands are a lot bigger in person. You know, Brady, I think they should uh, make bobbleheads of us. I think I'd be a great bobblehead. You would definitely be a great bobblehead. I'd rush to the game. I don't think I'd make any of you because uh, all this hair. Uh, this upcoming weekend, we head to Springfield, Illinois to take on the Junior Blues. Uh, it's a team we've had some success against this year. Uh, we played them four times at the War Memorial. We uh, won all four games. So that's a team we want to go in and take care of business against. Uh, they're going to be hard work and they're going to be ready for us. It's in their home building now, so it's going to be that much tougher of a task. Uh, we want to really, really bounce back from our tough weekend against the Sioux. And uh, how we're going to do that is we've got to win that first game. We've got to come in with guns and blaze and get a lot of effort going. Put pressure on them and really shove it down their throat and take care of business. I mean, that's that's what our kind of our, our downfall. We we're struggling that first game. I think if we get that first game going, get the two points, and then uh, get rested up and bury them again in the second game, that's got to be our mindset. We got to have a winning attitude, winning mentality when we go on the road. And uh, if we do that, we'll be in good shape. So that's our weekend coming up. The following weekend, we're finally back at the War Memorial, the 24th to 25th against the Michigan Warriors. Uh, we played them over the New Year's week, and uh, we did pretty well against them too. So uh, they're going to be a tough opponent. The big part of that uh, weekend off the ice is the uh, Coach Jason Spence bobblehead weekend, the giveaway. Uh, looks pretty good, looks a lot like him. I, I think the assistant coach maybe should have got a bobblehead in there too. Maybe I'll have to pay somebody like Coach Spence did to get his uh, name on and, and face on one. But, you know, he's been around town a little bit longer than I have, so uh, maybe when I put 10 more years in this place. They give me a bobblehead, but uh, make sure everybody comes out, gets them. They're pretty cool looking, and uh, help us help cheer us on to pick up four points.